Hi, I'm Jeremy. And I'm Ben. Together we are 15 degrees north. Today we're going to show you the sights and sounds of Dubrovnik. Dubrovnik. Dubrovnik is an ancient city sitting at the southernmost point of Croatia. The jewel of the Dalmatian coast, this was once a sleepy town, but it has skyrocketed to international attention in recent years thanks to its prominent role within a little-known TV show. Everyone knows that Dubrovnik is the shooting location for lots of Game of Thrones. Do we feel like they are cashing in somewhat? Oh, absolutely. You've got tour guides, you've got shops and all sorts of merchandise, oh. official apparently. <laughs> all of them? All of them. Official. Um, but I'm a massive Game of Thrones fan. I mean, oh my god, I loved it so much. Um, and so it's quite nice to, to geek out a little bit. Yeah, it's fine. Wow. Vikings better. I'm afraid you're wrong there. No, no. You're wrong. No. Founded in the 7th century, Dubrovnik used to be known as Ragusa. Although it formed part of the Venetian Empire, it was a free city between the 14th and 19th centuries. It changed hands many times over the last 200 years, sitting within the changing borders of Italy, Austria, Yugoslavia and now Croatia. Although it is mere miles from the borders of both Bosnia and Montenegro. It's been in the EU, behind the Iron Curtain and conquered by Napoleon. But, all the while, it's remained basically unchanged, making it one of the most complete medieval cities in the world. Unless you count using CGI to construct the vast palace of King's Landing. My parents went on their honeymoon to Dubrovnik many moons ago back in the 70s, and it feels wonderful to be here now to see what they saw, although I guess I'm kind of getting quite a different experience of it now, now that it's part of the European Union and uh, a wholly different kettle of fish, but it still has its beautiful old world charm. Now there's no doubt that Dubrovnik is one of the most picturesque towns on the Mediterranean. And we're not the only people who've come to that conclusion. It often tops the list of the most over-touristed places in the world, which essentially means the proportion of visitors versus its residents. 40,000 people live in Dubrovnik. Meanwhile, 1.5 million tourists visit each year, which means that on any given day there are 39 tourists for every resident there. And when we went, which was in October, it was pretty busy, although not crazily so. The biggest effect from this influx of tourism is the price. Oh my god. It's so expensive. Like crazy expensive. It goes straight into the top three of the most expensive places that we've ever visited, ranking alongside Scandinavia and Switzerland. Not to forget Mykonos. But we discovered later that the rest of Croatia is not like this, but in Dubrovnik, the residents have decided en masse to take advantage of the sheer volume of people passing through its gates. And that's great for them. Not so great for us. We're not trying to scare anyone off, but you really do need to go into a visit with your eyes open. For example, the two biggest tourist attractions are the city walls and the cable car to the summit of the nearby cliff overlooking the town. The former costs 35 euros per person and the latter 25. That's 60 euros each just for a day out. Main meals and restaurants are about 30 euros while drinks are at least 10 each. We pride ourselves on travelling on a budget but your budget doesn't go far here at all. Had we spent all of that on our one day in the city we would have spent more on that day than the rest of our week long trip in the Balkans combined. So was it worth it? Of course. There's definitely a reason why it's in such demand, and my parents loved it in the 70s, certainly. 
in communist times. I mean, have you ever considered there might have been spies? The thought has certainly crossed my mind. and my father sent their regards. They really wanted me to tell you how much they miss you. So to the walls of Dubrovnik, I send you love and affection from the Turner family going back many, many years because my parents are ancient and old and haggard. Look it. <laughs> no. No, but I, I'm sending love. I can, they can, the Welsh love is in the wall right now. Lick there it. Is, I'm not going to lick the wall, but I, the love is there. Lick it. <laughs> <laughs> But of course, who could ever resist recreating Game of Thrones' most famous scene? Shame. 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 Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share and subscribe. And follow us on Instagram at 15 Degrees North. Make sure to tune in to our next video to see where in the world we end up next. See ya. Bye. <laughs>